Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a fist, a house into a home, and a stranger into a friend. Melody BT. Hi guys, my name is Mariam Belgore and you welcome to my podcast Unraveling with Mariam. On this thankful series, we're going to be talking about cultivating the attitude of gratitude. Before we go ahead, I want to share with you a little story. And this is to encourage anyone listening to me right now that is struggling. This is the 20th time, no jokes, 20th time I'm recording this episode. I would start, talk for about 10 minutes and just one simple mistake will ruin the entire process and I've repeated that 19 times and this is the 20th time. This is to encourage whoever is struggling with anything. This is to let you know that we only see results. Results are beautiful. Results wow us. Results are oh my. We all have that all feeling but nobody sees the struggle in the background. I want you to know Whatever it is that you're struggling with right now, life, your health, your business, your work, whatever it is, don't stop. Keep forging ahead. Try, keep trying and try again until you make it. If you make it to listen to this episode, that means I did not make a mistake eventually and I get to send it out. But that's just to encourage whoever is listening to me. Don't give up on yourself. Keep forging ahead. Now back to my thankful series. I'd like to share with you a personal story that led to the thankful series. Uh, This is something that happened to me personally. Year 2020 has been a very tough year for all of us. I know you all know that. It's been a year of challenge and change. And it's been very, very hard. But thankfully, we're still here, we're alive, we're still breathing, and in that alone, we're grateful. Um, June, July this year, 2020, I had a panic attack for the first time in my life, an anxiety disorder. I was very anxious. Um, That's because there were so many negative things around, sad news, bad news everywhere. Uh, Social media became a center for RIP. Uh, mainstream media had nothing encouraging to say either and I personally lost my uncle and that hit below the belt. I was very confused at that time, very worried, very uncertain and I couldn't sleep for days and at that time it started to mess with my psyche. Thankfully I had the best doctor and my family members rallied around me and helped me through the situation. I'm sharing this also to encourage whoever is out there going through whatever to seek for help you need to talk you need to speak out mental health is very underrated in our country in nigeria we need to understand that people go through mental issues you have to talk you have to seek help before it starts to affect every part of you it could affect you physically it could affect you psychologically it could affect your health I was having palpitations at that time. I I felt like my heartbeat wasn't steady. I couldn't sleep. It was a very, it was an unpleasant feeling. I do not wish to go back there, but thank God I'm over it. And this led to my thankful series. At that time, I used to think to myself, will I say to the month of, will I see the month of October? Would I be here to witness my birthday? And I used to think uh, if I make it to my birthday, I would be very thankful. Thankfully, my birthday was a few days ago and um, I decided to share my experience and to share my thanksgiving and to also encourage us to be very thankful. I woke up this morning, uh, I set my alarm to 5 a.m. and it woke me at exactly 5 a.m. I snoozed it further to 15 minutes past five and it woke me in exactly 15 minutes. I sat up for a few seconds when I woke up and I started to reflect. Can I say the alarm woke me? Of course not. The grace of God actually woke me. I thought about it. There are so many people that set alarms to wake up and they never made it up. No matter how loud 
your alarm is or how alarming your alarm is or how banging it might sound if the grace of god is not there for you to wake up you wouldn't even wake up so i woke up feeling very grateful i was feeling very grateful for everything around me for everything that's contributed to my growth my happiness my stability and my advancement and i decided to talk to you how about you how do you feel in the moment i'm going to be sharing nuggets from a book i read from one of my favorite authors john mason in this nugget in this chapter he spoke about thinking thanks how aggressive are you my friend listening to me right now and being thankful how thankful are you when it comes to leaving do you take it for granted the air that we breathe when you wake up in the morning and you can take in the oxygen breathing oxygen and then breathe it out do you think it's random <laughs> You won't know how important this simple act is until you're denied of oxygen. You won't know how how peaceful, how lucky, how relieving it is to be able to breathe in and out as we just did now until you're denied of it. Do you take all of this for granted or do you take it with gratitude? Thanksgiving is the attitude of a productive life. You have to consciously be grateful for everything that you have. Thanksgiving the say you will find creates the power in your life because it opens the generators of your heart to respond gratefully, to receive joyfully and to create to react creatively. Uh, there was a, a, a book I read and William Ward said in the book there are three enemies of personal peace. One is regret over yesterday's mistakes. The second one is anxiety over tomorrow's problems and the third one is in gratitude for today's blessings. If we look within ourselves, we we'll realize there's a lot to be thankful for. We have so much to be thankful for. No matter how not fancy your condition is right now, no matter how how not um, you, how, how you feel you deserve more or how not so nice your house is or how not so good your situation is, would you rather be in the best hospital in your town? No, you wouldn't. And if you're in the hospital right now listening to me, you still have the grace to listen. Being able to listen to me right now is a blessing on its own. There are some people that are already six feet under. They're gone. They cannot listen. So why won't we count our blessings? If you can't be satisfied with what you've, you've, you have right now, with what you've reached, you can't be thankful for what you have escaped. Let me take that again so that we understand it. If you can't be satisfied with what you've reached, you should at least be thankful for what you have escaped. Day in, day out, we leave our homes, we go, we're leaving in the morning. I will say, oh, that, but that's your bar, we're saying bye, that's your bar, we're saying bye. And then you get back again in the evening, I could leave, that means welcome, you're back. Have you ever sat down to think about it? Some people left their homes in the morning and they never made it back. Some people were involved in motor accidents and they are gone. Some were abducted or kidnapped and they are not here anymore. But you keep going and then you keep coming back and you have never really reflected about it. It's a lot to be thankful for. You have to count your blessings. I'm counting my blessings. Are you counting yours? At every opportunity that we get, we need to count our blessings. Take some time today to reflect on all you have and you will be thankful. The words from the book I read, Think and Thanks, is from a Latin word. If we take time to think more, we will undoubtedly think more. Right now, if you get a pen and a paper and you're to write 10 things that you're grateful for, I assure you, you will end up writing 20, even 50 things that you're grateful for. As you do, as you're writing, creative ideas will spring forth. Things will start to come to your mind as a result of the mental conversation you're having with yourself. Then you start to see things that you never saw. You start to get reminded of things that you took for granted that you're supposed to be grateful for. One of the best ways to generate momentum and opportunities is to sit down and write a thankful note, a thank you note. First, to yourself. Have you thanked yourself? Have you thanked you for not giving up on you? Have you thanked you? for hanging in there regardless of everything that you've been through a classic example is you mm, having a car and it tells you service is due in 15 days and reminds you service due in 10 
to someone oh my car has been due for services for a while now but i've not been able to make it to the auto mechanics i'll try my best to, to take it there in that moment you're partially saying thank you to that car same thing applies to our body do you know how many times your body has told you rest slow down take it easy and you don't even listen you don't listen to your body when it fails you your legs don't feel you your hands don't feel you your eyes do not feel you your mental faculty doesn't feel you you still you it's you're hanging in there every part of you is still forging ahead with you have you said thank you to yourself say thank you yeah say it yeah thank you say thank you to you i'm saying thank you to me thank you mariam thank you myself for not giving up on for not giving up on me you have to thank you and appreciate you thank your creator for helping you for guiding you for allowing you to do things for giving you grace and mercy to be able to do all the things that you are doing right now and then you say thank you to the people around you that have influenced your life your friends your family your neighbors your colleagues at work even your social media friends you put up things on social media and you have nice comments do you know how therapeutic it is for you to read nice things from people it helps you to get along with the day these are things that you should be thankful for you should appreciate the people that are very close to you that has helped you to stay stable to stay sane the most highly satisfied life can be found in only being thankful Honestly, if you're not thankful, you would not see the beauty in anything at all. Appreciative words are one of the most powerful forces of good on earth, my friend. Thankful words don't cost much. They don't. Yet they accomplish so much. Count your blessings today. Don't discount them. There are so many things to be thankful for. If you look within, if you look in words, you would know that life itself is beautiful when we're thankful for the little that we have in hope in expectation for the abundance that is about to come when you're thankful you will receive more i read somewhere from uh a someone that wrote um, a writer that wrote if thank you was the only prayer that we did it is enough thank you is powerful thank you to god thank you to you thank you to the people that help you to be a better person uh life is very beautiful but we need to be able to see the beauty in life if you're thankful for all of the things around you what you have the little that you have you will be grateful for the more that is to come if you're not grateful for the little you have right now you most likely wouldn't even see the beauty in what is to come uh it looks like i've held you for 13 minutes i do not intend to keep you for more than 15 minutes i hope i've been able to say something to someone and i just realized that this episode might not be perfect, but there are no bloopers. I've not made any mistake. Okay, I think I'm going to be posting this. This one would go to the podcast. Uh, I'm encouraging my friends. MOB Foundation. Today is 1st of October 2020 and we are here in Durumi Area 1 High Camp. We are here in 2018 with the entire team to come share some relief packages for the people here and also sanitary towel. So I got a call from the woman leader. That yes. Okay. Can tell me what you understand by the street. Can somebody hear?